Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure a lot of you guys were aware, earlier on today, Rockstar Games rolled out the part one of the Halloween surprise update, which of course included this new Halloween mask that does come with a special audio ability. However, of course, they've also gone ahead and added in all of the Halloween based game modes. Now I have noticed a ton of you guys that have been paying attention to my videos over the last few weeks, you have noticed that my character has been wearing one of the jackets from one of these new Halloween game modes and it's actually from the game mode known as Judgment Day. Now, like I said, I've literally had hundreds of comments from you guys asking me how the hell was I able to unlock this Halloween jacket for my character and there's actually a few different versions that you guys can go ahead and glitch onto your character. Now in order to acquire these jackets it will require you guys to have certain things unlocked in the game and of course different players have different things unlocked so this will only be available to certain players and like I said you guys might be one of those players so I thought I'd go ahead and cover both methods on how to unlock two of these rare Halloween jackets and like I said because you guys do have to have certain things already unlocked to unlock these jackets it just makes them one of the rarest clothing items in the game which I know a bunch of you guys do prefer as it does keep the clothing items more rarer for your outfits however if you guys are unable to do this glitch due to not having the things unlocked yet do be sure to drop a like down below as if this video does reach over 1000 likes I'll definitely be sure to go ahead and try and find a new method on how to unlock these jackets by transferring them directly from the adversary mode so if that is something you guys would like to see then do be sure to drop a like down below as that is the only way you guys can let me know that you do enjoy these type of videos and i'll definitely try and find another method so all of you guys can go ahead and do this glitch however not only am i going to give you guys the method on how i unlock these jackets but i'm also going to give you guys another heads up on an event that we can expect to see rockstar games adding in the next few weeks involving the pumpkins so as always if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos with that being said let's get into the video okay so like i said in the intro rockstar games rolled out the week one or the part one of the halloween update of course earlier on today and they will be rolling out a new update every week which will be halloween based all the way up until early november now one event that i know a ton of you guys have been asking me about is the jack-o-lanterns trick or treat event this of course is a seasonal collectible in grand theft auto that was added only last year and rockstar games actually went ahead and added this event into the game on week two last year so it's more than likely we are going to see rockstar games reintroducing the jack-o-lanterns challenge so you guys can go ahead and take part in this event as they are aware not every player was able to do so last year now if you guys aren't aware of what this event is all about there are basically 200 jack-o-lanterns scattered throughout the map these can be in buildings houses or just on the side of the road so they are really in a bunch of random locations however these could be collected once a day and would respawn every day now every time you guys would go ahead and destroy one of these pumpkins you would either receive a trick or a treat so as you guys can see on screen here are all of the tricks that you guys would have received so that could include getting tased or becoming stoned for 20 seconds or you guys could go ahead and receive a treat which could either include money reputation health and armor snacks or a peyote hallucination so it really was a cool event to take part in during the Halloween period. Now players would receive $50,000 for collecting 10 pumpkins plus an additional $50,000 for collecting all 200 within the day. However, the money wasn't important. What you guys would unlock is this horror pumpkin mask along with this rare pumpkin t-shirt. And that is the only way you guys could go ahead and unlock these rare Halloween items which of course can be used and kept 
after the event is finished. So for all of you guys that were wondering, will the Jack O'Lantern Challenge be returning into GTA 5 Online? It is more than likely Rockstar Games will be adding this next week. However, as far as the rare Halloween jackets that I've been getting a ton of comments from you guys asking, how the hell did I unlock these? It is a clothing glitch. However, you guys would have had to unlock some GTA Plus items previous to go ahead and unlock this item and what do i mean by that is whatever month you guys join gta plus that is the unlocks that you guys will start receiving from so for example if you guys joined in january you will only start receiving january's rewards onwards so if rockstar games released something in december the previous month and you guys only signed up in january trying to get the previous unlocks you guys won't be unlocking anything so some of you guys that already unlocked gta plus rewards last year still may be able to go ahead and unlock these rare halloween jackets so the two items that you guys need for one of the jackets you need a bomber jacket known as the hand drawn biker bomber and for the black version of the halloween jacket you guys will need the pumpkin hoodie if you guys have got both of these items unlocked already so the hand drawn biker bomber or the pumpkin hoodie then you guys can still go ahead and unlock these halloween jackets very very easily so in order to go ahead and unlock this golden version of this halloween jacket all you have to do is go ahead and apply the black baggy hoodie once you guys have applied the hoodie simply go down to style go down to hood and you want to put the hood up now once you guys have got the hood up you want to go over to bomber jackets now like i said this is where you guys will need this jacket unlocked it's the hand drawn biker bomber as you guys can see on screen it is a rare jacket because only gta plus members got it so once you guys have got this hand drawn biker bomber applied all you guys simply have to do is go back to your hood and put your hood down or just jump in any of your own cars and as you guys can see on screen it will glitch out this gold biker halloween jacket so that is how you guys unlock the golden version now to unlock this black version that i use a lot which has a ghost on it and just for me personally looks a lot more halloween themed all you guys have to do is head over to any clothing store in the game you want to head over to the top section and you want to go down to hoodies which should be number 36 on the list from here select the black baggy hoodie now once you guys have selected it back out pull up your interaction menu go down to style and you want to put your hood up now you guys are wearing your hood up back out and go back to the top section and then from here you want to go back over to hoodies and you want to select the pumpkin hoodie however once you guys are wearing the pumpkin hoodie from here just simply jump in any own vehicle and jump back out and as easy as that as you guys can see on screen you guys have now glitched the leather biker jacket from the judgment day adversary mode and from here you guys can go ahead and save this as an outfit and you can fully customize the entire outfit with the jacket so you can change the bottoms your shoes and it's not going to remove the jacket as i'm sure a lot of you guys are aware there's certain clothing items that don't allow you to customize the outfit whereas when you're wearing this jacket it is fully customizable now like i said you guys will need to be a gta plus member in order to unlock the pumpkin hoodie as of right now however if you guys would like to see me find a glitch on how to get these jackets without being a gta plus member do be sure to drop a like down below as if this video does reach over a thousand likes i'll grab a bunch of the guys that i record glitches with we'll jump online tonight and we'll try and find a method on how to get this jacket without being a gta plus member and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video peace